from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Every year, the nation's largest grasslands conservation organization, Pheasants Forever, hosts the Rooster Road Trip by traveling across the country in search of the most unique upland hunting experiences. This year, the Garmin team is proudly joining in on the action as the Rooster Road Trip ventures into South Dakota to celebrate 100 years of pheasant hunting during opening weekend. During the hunt, the team will use Garmin's wide range of outdoor devices to help them reach their limit of not only pheasants, but prairie chickens and sharp-tailed grouse as well. In South Dakota, for the first seven days of the season for pheasant hunting, you're not allowed to start pheasant hunting until noon. So that gives you pretty much from sun up all the way till noon. And so what are you gonna do in the meantime? Either drink some coffee or cut the dogs out. We got up a little early. We decided we were gonna chase some prairie grouse. One of the things that I love about South Dakota, one of the best upland states in the country, it has prairie grouse. And if you haven't hunted prairie grouse, they are just so addicting to try to get after. So uh, you think we're gonna be getting into any of these grouse or what? I think so, I think we'll see grouse. Whether we get close to them, you know, prairie grouse typically opens in early to mid-September. So these birds have been hunted for a month already. You can still work the wind. They're edge birds and that's where we'll be trying to find them. We've got a combination of of pointing dogs, and then uh, we'll have some labs and spaniels, flushers to kind of work the, the bottoms of the coolies. And uh, there are a combination of sharp tails and prairie chickens here at the Fort Pier Grassland. So your limit is a combination of three. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get after it. While the team sets off on the first leg of today's hunt, let's hear a little bit about the Garmin Alpha and why they're using it in the field. So what's really nice here is that out on the grasslands, we've got two different types of dogs. We've got the pointing dog, and then we've got flushing dogs. The flushing dogs are sticking a little bit lower into the thicker coolie habitat, and that set over there, it's got some wheels and it's casting all the way out. So Anthony over there is running a Garmin Alpha. I've run that unit for years. I've got one right on my hip right now. I love it. It's a GPS tracking and training unit, and it gives you the comfort, especially in the, in the country out here, of knowing exactly where your dog is at all times. One of the things I like about the Alpha is that I can sync it to yours, so I know where your dog's at. With a dog that runs as big as that, I feel like just, just to make sure, right? Well, it's an extra comfort thing. The Alpha is indispensable. Scout is a big ranging dog, and to have her hundreds of yards away and to just feel very comfortable with that, it, it makes it for a very enjoyable hunt in this type of country. Even when I'm not running a dog, I was able to pair this Alpha with Anthony's Alpha. And so I was able to watch Scout move. And the other thing is, it's so handy. I've got the Hunt View Plus card in here, which gives you bird's eye mapping of everything. So we are able to see the lay of the land, where we were, and so many other things, and just all the statistics that, you know, even when you're not running a dog, you have that ability to know. And the other thing is, is when you're out here, you know, it's always nice to know where home base is. And so having that GPS makes you feel so much more comfortable. She's at 194, 187, 183. That dog's got some wheels. As we rejoin this morning's hunt for prairie grouse, let's check in and see if any of our Pheasants Forever team members have had any luck harvesting one of those flighty birds. So right off the bat, within a quarter mile, we had a bird flush. And I mean, the thing is at this point in the season, they've been hunted, so they're a lot more cagey. And so that one got out just out of range. And as soon as that happened, I saw one bird flush over a hill. Would have been cool. Not quite close enough. I thought we were, I thought we were on it. I thought we were gonna get that bird, but chickens get the better of you sometimes. We got out of the field here. Unfortunately, we didn't get a bird in the bag. What we did have was uh, some good opportunity, but now that uh, we kind of got that off our back, it's almost time for pheasant, so I'm ready. All right, so we're, we're a minute and a half out from a pheasant opener here. Dogs are ready to go. We're all ready to go, but we gotta wait for the clock here, so. 
longest minute of my life. And through. 100 One. years of pheasant hunting. 15 seconds. 15 seconds away, 100 years of pheasant hunting. That's right. 10. All right, that's it, opener. Let's go hunt some pheasant. And with that, the 100th year of pheasant hunting in South Dakota is officially underway. Well, when we return, we'll catch up with the Pheasants Forever team members for the second half of the day on this rooster road trip as they attempt to reach their bird limit. And we'll learn more about some of these cool new devices Garmin has developed to enhance your hunting experience. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus free two day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero, leave the guesswork behind. And by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. For the latter part of today, the team members have decided to use the Garmin Pro 550 Plus to navigate the fields of tall bunch grass they'll be hiking and to keep track of the dogs. I've used the uh, Garmin Alpha for years. I love it, it's a fantastic unit, but this is Garmin's new Pro 550 Plus. What we like to say about it is it's robust training with simple tracking. It's everything you need to know and nothing you don't. So for example, it gives the directional arrow to the dog and then distance and whether or not your dog is moving or not. So really at a glance, you can be keeping an eye on everything, watching those birds flush. If you wanna know where your dog is, just a quick glance up and back down like that, you'll know the exact distance and the exact direction. So uh, we're out here, it's opening morning. Uh, actually, I should say afternoon at this point. We got Bo, the Labrador, and Andrew right over there. I'm never gonna admit this to him in person, but that's one of the best labs I've ever seen. So if there's birds out here, I know that dog is gonna find it. We got a great crop right here. We've got some really good habitat. So I think it's just a question of putting on some miles right now. The birds proved to be a challenge this afternoon. Head, no bird and the team finds themselves struggling to bag their first pheasant. No bird. No bird. But like any group of hunters, no bird. They're not about to stop trying as the golden hour approaches. Rooster! So after the first rooster flushed and missed shots, we pushed on with high hopes, knowing that there were some more birds ahead and lo and behold, another rooster flush, real nice rooster. And we were able to connect, put my first South Dakota rooster in the bag. There we go. 13 minutes left and we're on the board. Looks like I got him in the wing here real good. But quarter in the bag. We worked a lot. Worked hard today for it's a nice bird now. For South Dakota Rooster for the trip. So. Makes it all worthwhile. It's all worth it. Beautiful little piece here. Nice little bottom with a golden hour. Doesn't get any better. Public land golden hour. Somebody's gotta write a book about that. You couldn't have asked for a better bird for the end of the day, you know, and it just kind of Looking at it, it really just kind of embodies everything you love about pheasant hunting. Those beautiful dogs, you know, great dog work, great people. What more could you ask for? With only 13 minutes of legal shooting light left to spare, day one of the rooster road trip in South Dakota is a wrap. Well, before we get to day two, let's take a look at another product Garmin has developed for avid adventurers. This is one of my favorite units. It's uh, the Garmin inReach Mini. It's a two-way SMS communication device, and it also has 
SOS features, I kind of have two different mottos. One, everything in the outdoors goes exactly to plan until it doesn't and always have a backup plan. This little thing takes care of both. If anything happens in the outdoors, you have an SOS button, which sends an emergency beacon out. And so somebody knows you're here. You know, we're out in the middle of nowhere right now and God forbid an accident does happen. You know, we've got this little unit, but it's a lot more than just that. You can uh, do GPS coordinates. You can do Bluetooth into your phone for mapping your location and also weather. So it's a really robust unit and a little, little pint-sized Mighty Mouse, what I like to call it right there. Today we have South Dakota native Kelly Hepler joining the hunt, and he's here to give us a little insight into the value of maintaining their hunting lands for generations to come. You see a beautiful day like we have today. It's, you know, temperature in the 40s, blue sky, harvest going on behind us, birds in the air. This is truly who we are in South Dakota. When you see pheasants like this, it's a combination kind of our land ethic combined with a conservation ethic. So there's a lot of responsibility to make sure we have those kind of partnerships like Pheasants Forever and others, you know, with Garmin, all these people who actually produce this equipment to, for us to hunt with to ensure that we can always have this opportunity in the future. So 100 years now, we're looking for the next 100 years for us. I'm happy you guys are here today and what a wonderful day to be in the field. Okay, so we're out here. You know, we had a kind of tough day yesterday, so what we decided was dog power. So. Uh, Anthony uh, said to take Scout out. I run setter, Scout's a setter. So hopefully we can all make it work and put it together and get some birds. We're hunting in kochia, which is kind of a weedy plant. Each plant produces about 100,000 seeds. And so what it really means in layman's terms is that it's a plant that kind of produces food for pheasants and acts as cover. So it's kind of like a, something that they can just live in, you know, without having to move from a food source back to cover. They kind of just are here. Is that a chicken? Oh, adios, chicken. Americana Outdoors will be right back with more pheasant hunting action. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine and next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side by side delivers this level of proven off road performance. The all new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by High Vis Shooting Systems. See what you've been missing. Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, proven. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. And by Sawyer Products. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Now, before we go back to the field, let's learn about another Garmin product that's being utilized for this hunt. So out here on this trip, I've been wearing the new Garmin Instinct. This thing is just an incredible watch. I love it. Um, it's actually built to a military standard. It's a GPS watch. It has really great features to it, including trackback. So, you know, if you want to start hunting right here and head that way, hit that button. And then when I want to turn back, it would have the ability just to guide me right back to the truck. It also connects with so many of our other devices, which is really nice. You can connect it with the Pro 550 Plus. Uh, so everything's right there on your wrist and uh, lets you stay out there a little bit longer and be able to figure out what you're doing a little bit better. After a long afternoon of hunting, the pheasants are as elusive as ever. The golden hour is quickly approaching and the team members have yet to get a bird in the bag. beginning to think we're cursed. Like I've never believed in curses. For 49 minutes to break it. All right, come on, Smidgey. Hey, hey, there's a rooster that just put in down there.
Nice shot. Nice. Way to go. Golden hour produces again. It's a nice looking bird. You had the right plan. I mean, the plan, what did you say, <laughs> almost came together? The plan almost came together. Well, yeah, that's a good looking bird. Well, at least we got one. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that's a high five right yeah, well, there. Right? I'll yeah. take a high five for that one. Down. down low, baby. Down, down low. Day. We'll take that for sure. Good girl. With their second bird bagged and only 12 minutes left before legal shooting light ends, day two of the rooster road trip comes to a close. South Dakota is known for its wide variety of habitat and land it has available. On this third day of the hunt, the team meets up with Matt Morlock on his in-laws family farm where they'll be hunting with the Gustins, a family who are on their third generation of hunters that have made it a tradition over the last 21 years to hunt this property during opening week of pheasant hunting. It's a working production farm, and so a lot of times when you're hunting there is gonna be sloughs, which are gonna be big cattail wetlands. What's really great about it is it provides really, really great cover and shelter for those pheasants. It's not as much fun to walk through as just a piece of grass, though. I mean, you've got cattails up to here, busting out in front of you, you know, getting cattail, I don't even know what they're called, just everything back in your face. It's tough to see, and you know what? The birds definitely have an advantage in that one. Matt's got two English Cocker Spaniels, and in this tall grass, I mean, those things just disappear, and they're like lightning. So I gave him the Pro 550 Plus, which is really nice. It's a three-dog unit, so he can have two collars on his dogs, and he'll be able to keep track of those dogs in these big sloughs, big grasses, and uh, hopefully that gives us a better chance of finding some birds. If your dogs are getting hot, yep. where are, how do you run Cocker Spaniels in this? How do, you run, how do you run Cocker Spaniels in this without a GPS? Otherwise, I gotta watch the cattails move. It, this is going to make life a lot easier. Matt, that rooster was right in here, wasn't he? And that would have been cool. Rooster! Rooster! Nice, nice shot! And just like that, Matt's father-in-law, Mr. Olson, has taken day three's first bird. I heard some shots over there. I turned around and I saw that bird turn, so. Yeah, it is a dandy. Yeah. Oli. Oli wants to eat him. Oli. <laughs> <laughs> How far do you think that shot was? Oh, that's a long shot. Yeah. That him about five feet. Did you? Congratulations, Mr. Olson. That's a beautiful South Dakota rooster right there. Yeah, he is. He's a dandy. Well, coming up, Matt invites Ray Hahn to one more location he has up his sleeve for the hopes of bringing home a coveted South Dakota pheasant. Rooster! Feed your need for speed. The Nitro XRT unleashes speeds up to 470 feet per second, producing 25% flatter aero trajectory, resulting in knock-breaking accuracy and unprecedented knockdown power. The world has never seen a crossbow this fast, accurate, and compact. The Nitro XRT from 10 Point. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. Walkers, protect it or lose it. Conquest Sense, hunting sense and dog training sense. So Matt tells me he's got one place in his back pocket. It's his honey hole. He hasn't even hunted it yet this year. And so I say, all right, this has got to be the place. We've got to make this one work. So we pull up, and first of all, I'm looking at it, and it's just a standing thing of corn. I'm like, Matt, we can't cover this whole field of corn right now. You know, we've got 30 minutes left to do this. He's like, 
just wait. We hop back on the bed of the pickup truck and I can see over the corn stalks, there's this little island slough there and it's probably 20 acres, if that maybe. Sure enough, we see a couple of roosters pour in. I say, all right, Matt, this is it. Golden hour, last 30 minutes, let's get to it. We get to the field and I look at it and I don't even know how many acres it is, but it just looks prime. Matt's little English Cocker Spaniel Scout starts getting birdie almost right away. That feeling comes back. It's like, we're gonna make this happen. Oh, sir! Nice! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Matt! <laughs> oh! Third down. That was 70, 71 hours, 42 minutes. There we go. All right, first bird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see that thing. I, that can't go in your vest, man. Yes. Look at that. That's that South Dakota bird. That's the bird. Matt, thank you. Thank you. That I feel is... bad I took this long. Let's go get some more. All right, let's, let's go do this. I mean, what? Let's go get some more. Scout starts almost immediately getting birdie again. Starts working within another 40 yards maybe. Another rooster comes up. Rooster! Nice. Number two. Matt, thanks for calling that. I would not have seen that at all. There he is. Got him? Yep. I'm telling you, golden hour. Golden hour. I, I didn't doubt you. It wasn't that I ever doubted you. <laughs> I was getting a little nervous, but it, it's golden hour for you. It gets in your head, doesn't it? Oh, man. That's another nice bird. With the golden hour winding down, Ray Han and Matt continue forward in hopes of reaching their limit of three birds. In the meantime, Matt gives us a quick update on his experience today with the Garmin Pro 550 Plus. This Pro 550 Plus, it's a lifesaver. I, uh, more than once, I was wondering where that dog went, and I used to glance down on the screen, tell he was 50, you know, he was, one time he was 55 feet off to my right. I had just started researching new collars. I'm sold on it. You know, we didn't end up getting that third bird in the bag. We had an opportunity, but it was right into the sun. Didn't want to take a risk on it. It's okay, though. We didn't get that limit, but we got two beautiful pheasants in the bag, and I couldn't have thought of a better way to end that hunt. I think uh, that's it. I think we ran her. We burned all the hours we had. I Scout, we did. not quite ready, but. Yeah, but Scout's, Scout's a good dog. Thanks for bringing her out here. Thanks for showing me this property. I mean, you know, meeting Gustin's, everything like that. South Dakota. It is. You got the full gamut of it. You know, I was getting nervous by the end here, but I knew I had this spot in my back there, spot in my back pocket. Yeah. Well, always have an ace up your sleeve. You I got guess, it, right? Or, or a rooster. Or a rooster <laughs> in, in this case, case, or two. Yeah. But um, it was fitting in for this hunt. Well, you know what? Two beautiful birds. I'll tell you what. I'll be back for the next opener. Right? You better be. All right. So we've been out here in South Dakota for three days and it's been incredible. You know, we started off hunting prairie chickens and sharp tail, then we got into pheasant. That's part of the hunt, but really there's so much more to it. You know, getting to hunt with the Pheasants Forever guys, you know, good people, getting to meet the Gustins, getting to meet the Olsons, like, it goes to show you that there's a lot more to hunting than just the hunt. And that's what it's about. I mean, just getting out here and, and seeing everything with South Dakota and everything it has to offer. Hey, thank you for watching, and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. For precise prescription eyewear, Wiley X knows there's no room for error. We meticulously craft our own prescription lenses to fit our high wrap frames. And our ANSI safety rated lenses are tested to uncompromising standards. Nothing but precise. Because precision is everything.
Introducing LightWave H3 technology from HiViz Sites. The LightWave H3 site combines tritium with the light pipe technology HiViz is known for to give you 24 hours of illumination. Now you can have the advantage of day and night performance all in one site system. The new LightWave H3 ensures fast site acquisition and a bright site picture day or night. Learn more at HiVizSites.com and see what you've been missing. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. What does it take to make Evercom Deer Scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. It smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Approximately 30,000 cases of Lyme disease happen each year in the United States. The main culprit, ticks. Stop and kill ticks in the outdoors with Sawyer's permethrin insect repellents. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Protect it or lose it. 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 Neither Purinas or Mummies are newcomers in the world of wildlife management. In fact, both our brands have decades of experience tackling the tough questions when it comes to animal nutrition and game management programs. Let our brands help you create healthier animals and help improve your game management practices. Reach out to the team at Mummies at one of their store locations or give us a call and ask how we can help you reach your game management dreams. Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoors show? Check out Outdoor Action today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device. Mm -hmm. 